Hey, today we're gonna have a look at how to ski powder. The first thing you should have in mind is like what kind of ski gear are you on? Today I'm skiing a Scott Scrap 115. This is probably not what you're gonna be skiing, but let's say you're going on a ski holiday and you hope to ride some powder and you rent carving skis, for example. That is no fun because you'll have to lean back too much and it's not so cool. So I'd recommend you maybe rent an uh, all mountain ski that's about 100 millimeter in the waist and it has a bit of rocker like this. When you have a bit of rock, it helps the ski to float easier. So you can have like a normal skiing stance, you know, that you don't need to sit back in order to make the skis float. The easiest way to get started skiing powder is straight after snowfall, go skiing. If you're lucky, you can find like a slope where it's been snowing maybe 10, 15 centimeters. And you can cruise around the powder here. And then you can feel how this is different compared to your normal skiing on the slope. Cause the skis can float, you know, and it can go up and down. And when you do this, you know, start thinking about the stance. And the stance, when you're skiing powder, it's pretty much the same as when you're skiing, you know, string yourself up, sink down in the ski boots, gentle bend by the waist, and I feel some shin pressure, something like this. Hands in the front, it's super important for balance. And then, let's say you'd be skiing with the feet this wide on the slope, bring them a little bit closer together. And this is because there is less risk of one ski sinking down, as if one sinks down, you can set off a rotation and result in a crash. And always mind the safety. Don't just head out there and, you know, do a long off piece run that's like a few kilometers long and then you get back start small sections of powder and then go back to the slope and catch your breath again because it can be really exhausting in the beginning as soon as it's a little bit deeper it's a good idea that you find like a mellow pitch where there's like this much snow you know so you have a little bit of snow you can move up and down in the first thing you can start trying is that you like pump up and down like this almost like jumping but not quite making the skis sink down and pop up. Sink down and pop up. Now when we're gonna combine this technique with the turn, the up and down movement is gonna be a little bit slower. So you bounce up and down, and then you slowly start doing some turns. At the furthest to the side of the turn, you like extend your legs a bit, helping to rebound off the snow, and then you twist the skis on top of the snowpack, then down and repeat again. It's gonna make a big difference for you. This can be done both, you know, turning with the skis, that the upper body and the skis are turning at the same time. And when you do this, you can think of it as a skidded parallel turn. Focus on keeping a strong core so the upper body turns at the same speed as your skis. But it does feel much nicer to be done like a short turn, where you keep the upper body rather straight down, and then the legs are moving from side to side. But this is a little bit tricky to get in the beginning. So what is important to think about here, uh, just like before, make sure that you turn on top of the snowpack, but the feet and skis are turning independently of the upper body. The upper body is pointing more downhill than the skis are. My technique here is not quite perfect, but you get the point. Give it a good try. I think you're really gonna enjoy it and it takes a bit of practice. And the arms, you know, you keep them quite far, far forward. And if you had a pole plant, it's gonna be even easier to do. And, you know, a pole plant, you basically just do this with the arm. Because you don't really want to push it down there and then, like, push off. That's going to make you rotate like this. And you could possibly spin around and have a crash. And it's important to get the rhythm right when you should pole plant. Here, I'm just finished with this left-hand turn, pole plant. I'm finished with the right turn, left-hand pole plant. And then repeat. It's not that tricky, but it's going to help you a lot with the rhythm and the nice movements doing the powder turns. You know, so far I've showed you basically a flat pitch of pretty decent snow. But the terrain is often going to go up and down. And if you turn on top of a little roller, then the tails come out of the snow more and it's easier to turn. And it also creates a nice flow that you maybe turn just before the roller and then over the roller you turn and then drop in on the other side. It really feels good and it makes your turns, yeah, it makes you turn much easier. So this is how you 
can do shortish turns in powder. It's fun and all, it's good to know for uh, tree skiing or when it's really steep. But when me and my friends are out skiing or any rad skiers you see on TV, they do blasting big turns down, big faces. Because it would be really boring to watch a couple of guys do pole planty short turns in powder, a whole ski movie. So basically, work on your carving technique. Got a video on that. And um, what is different from carving is that when you're skiing in powder, is that you have to adapt your skiing much quicker depending on how the conditions are. And for them big swoopy turns, instead of like having a bit widish stance for the carve, you know, feet a little bit closer together. And the reason why is that the outside foot can sink down if it's too wide and get pulled back, make you spin around and possibly crash as shown earlier in this video. And here I'm trying to carve down the steep face. And what's happening? I'm a bit out of control, so I need to put in a speed check. First thing I do is have a bit of angulation like that. And then the skis have been turned with the upper body still facing down the hill to be able to let the tail slide out, skid a bit, so I can reduce the speed. Thank you for watching. Hey, honestly, I really hope you are gonna try riding powder and that you're gonna like it. I'll have a playlist here with all our free ride tutorials. You can check out the other ones. They'll be out soon.